Welcome back in Seoul for a second video daily report about ADEX exhibition. And for today, we will focus on some of the latest developments showcased by the South Korean defense and aerospace industry. I will introduce our UAV. This is a kind of tilt rotor, and it's a 200 kilogram level. It's a tilt rotor is a when it fly, it fly like with a fixed wing, but when it land off or take uh, landing or take off, it fly like helicopters. And we developed this tilt rotor for three years and. It's still in development, but we complete this tilt rotor on the moving ship. And this key feature is the autonomous veto. It provides similar flight performance uh, with a uh, like fixed wing UAVs and continuous. But when it landing or take off, it's flight performance like helicopter. If can, we can operate this. You have a 24 hours and seven days with a multiple UAVs. It's a shipboard operation capability. It's a MTOW is a 200 kilogram and payload is 30 kilogram. Maximum speed is a 250 kilometer per hour and cruise speed is a 200 kilometer per hour. The maximum sailing altitude is a four. 4.5 kilometers and operation range is about 6 to 200 kilometers. Endurance is uh, 6 hours. This is our Korean Airlines tactical UAV and its uh, maximum weight is uh, 150 kilograms and payload is uh, 10 kilograms. Its operation range is uh, about uh, 100 kilometers but when we use another G GCS or GLS we can extend this range like 200 kilometers. Its maximum altitude is 4.5 kilometers. Actually, this set is a com consists of four aircrafts and two GCS. So we can operate this system with a full 24 hours and seven days. Its key features is a we it's a deep dive and steeper steeping landing. So when it landed, we can stop it in 30 meters. So, and it's a deep diving angle is uh, like 13 degrees. So it's uh, about well, four times uh, steeper than similar UAV. KUSVH is uh, converting manned MD-500 to a manned MD-100. But it's uh, still OPV model, what you're seeing. But our goal is uh, converting it to the unmanned, unmanned UAV vehicles. Our goal is uh, using this aircraft to buy uh, for the ISL and some del delivering heavy st stuff. It's a uh, endurance time is uh, endurance hour is uh, five hours and we can attach a EOIR cameras. By using two or four UAVs, we can cover 24 hours and seven days with this system. By using the pilot's weight, we can add some additional payload 
in, I mean, instead of the pilot's weight, such as missile and rocket armaments. And we also attach advanced avionics, and we can use these helicopters in that time. As you know, this APT program, somebody called uh, TX program, is a kind of a, uh, advanced uh, the pilot training program for U.S. Air Force, and including the EMD development program and other production uh, programs. For the pro uh, development, it will cover three to five years, and also for production aircraft, uh, USAF want to uh, achieve 350 at last. For KI, we are working with Lockheed Martin. Lockheed Martin is prime contract for this uh, APT program uh, bidder. And KI is working for development area for uh, some structure modification and uh, software development. And for the production area, we are covering uh, every major uh, airplane structures like the fuselage, wing, and empennages. And uh, this airplane will be assembled in uh, United States, Greenville, South Carolina, as a final assembly. And following our two subjects, KI chose not to speak about in front of our camera. The first one is the famous KFX project. This uh, 15 billion project seeks to produce 120 fighter jets with domestic technology and deploy them within the South Korean Air Force by 2032. They will replace the old F-4 and F-5 jets currently in service. The country's Defense Acquisition Program Administration on July unveiled the prototype of an advanced IESA radar jointly developed with the help of Israeli company ELTA. The KFX is to be powered by two General Electric F414 engines in a deal estimated to be worth up to 3.5 billion. If KI never detailed the potential weapon package, the scale model showcased at ADEX 2017 is armed with AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air missiles and GDAM Smart Munitions. The second topic is the Light Armed Helicopter Project or LAH which was launched in June 2015 to replace the aging MD-500 and AH-1S choppers. Based on Airbus helicopters H-155, the LAH will become leading next-generation light rotorcraft in the 5 metric ton weight category. The scale model shown at ADEX is fitted with what seems to be a JU-19 Gatling gun, two anti-tank guided missiles and a rocket pod, KI aims to sell 1,000 LAH and LCH, the civilian version, at home and abroad, creating economic effects worth around $20 billion. And we'll be making the joint venture between the IAI, which is the Israel Aerospace Industry, which is the global leader in UAV business. And also Hango Carbon is the global leader in uh, composite material. And we have, we have equally invested money to make that KAT, which is the Korea Aviation Technology. And we will be making, start making this product, which is hybrid VTOL UAV. This MTOW is 67 kilogram, and it has the hybrid system inside. So, the advantage of the hybrid system is when we do the vertical takeoff, we use the only the battery with the motors, and on the cruise, we use the uh, engine. So we have extended the endurance from the two, two to four hours to eight hours by using the hybrid system. This model is the modified version of the FA Panther. A uh, previous version of FA Panther had uh, three motors uh, during the VTOL. However, we added one more motors on the back to make it more safe. And this model can lift more, more power, uh, generate more power, so it, it can contain more payload. And it also has more endurance than the previous version of the FA Pan. And this is the concept, conceptual design that we have right now. However, we are planning to develop it when the customer 
appears. Panther 300, which is KAT 400, this conceptual design that we we are thinking of right now, it has six six propellers. Two will be engine, which which can tilt. So during the takeoff and landing, we will use all six propellers. And then during the cruise, we are only using the two engines to cruise. This also has the high hybrid propulsion inside, and this can lift up up to payload of 60 kilograms and the endurance of seven hours. This is a small UAV, which called the uh, you know the soldier can take care of some other you know the airplane on the on the back and then take the airplane and the monitor and the search or uh, the 10 kilometers, 15 kilometers away. The, this UAV we sold the Korean Army uh, almost 400 already some uh, dispatched the Korean Army and also a lot of this is uh, some another uh, sector which is uh, attack the UAV. And also we change uh, not only military, some a lot of commercial area and agriculture. And the TED Rotary is one of the most uh, unique helicopter, uh, UAV, I mean the, the drone, which go hanging around uh, some one kilometer in the air, 24 hours. This is a uh, really, uh, really sophisticated technology, which is uh, now developing on the support of our government. Install the bomb, as you see, though, and then drop and then back to some uh, the original position. It's uh, flying around uh, 40 or uh, 50 kilometers for some uh, the one, two or three hours around there. It's, uh, maybe it's come out uh, within uh, one or two years. 